National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty, a health expert here at naturalnutrition.ca. One of the greatest, simplest little ways to start your day is with a smoothie. Now, I've been having smoothies myself for years, and the one thing that I find with them is they can get a little repetitive. So what I'm gonna do today is to give you seven little tips you can do to really supercharge and switch up your current smoothie. So there's a lot of different way, things you can do with a smoothie. Um, obviously, you know, your typical smoothie is just gonna be a combination of sort of fruits, vegetables, often a source of protein and then a, a source of fluid and usually people will use like a milk or a milk substitute for that uh, depending on what they're trying to create and what flavor profile they're looking at. You know there's a couple of common flavors that you'll see out there uh, peanut butter banana you'll often see like berry based smoothies chocolate based smoothies vanilla based smoothies so a lot of different options a lot of ways you can have variety but one of the keys with them is your smoothie in a way, it's like your first dose of nutrition in the day, or a lot of people are taking them after something like going to the gym. And so what you wanna do is really supercharge it. What are the ways that you can basically tweak your smoothie so that it's gonna give you maximum benefit? Well, in addition to protein and adding all that other stuff in, there's a few things you can add in that can really, really help benefit you. Uh, one of my first ones that I love because A, it adds a great flavor and it's probably one of our most overlooked anti antioxidant sources is raw cacao nibs or uh, raw cocoa powder. Um, either of these would work. They, you know, naturally, they're a little bit bitter, so you'll typically want to combine them with a fruit that's sweet or some sort of uh, a way of making it a little bit sweeter. Um, but they're actually, you know, pound for pound, one of our greatest sources of antioxidants. And, you know, they can really help to regulate blood pressure. Uh, and they've got a lot of great cardioprotective benefits. So if you're, you know, somebody who comes from a family that's prone to heart disease, or you've been diagnosed with some level of heart disease, adding some cocoa powder in can really help improve your cardiovascular health. Now, in addition to that, there's another great antioxidant that's very, very commonly consumed that we often overlook, um, yet we often will drink it alongside the smoothie. The trouble is when you're going from your hot coffee to your cold smoothie, it's not always the most comfortable thing. Um, so there's a way you can basically take your coffee and add it into your smoothie. So I have heard of people just putting straight, super fine ground coffee beans right into their smoothie. Typically that's gonna leave it a little gritty. Instead, what my recommendation is, is brew up a nice, strong pot of coffee, let it cool, and then either keep it in the fridge and use it as part of the liquid portion for your smoothie, or even better, freeze it into cubes and that'll help keep your smoothie nice and cold and give it that nice sort of crushed ice feel. And it's a great way that you can sort of combine it into your daily routine. Now coffee, often it's just viewed as a source of caffeine. We often overlook the fact that it contains a number of very beneficial antioxidants as well. And it does seem to have certain protective benefits for the neurological system. So coffee is associated with lower rates of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative disorders. So again, if this is something you suffer from or something that people in your family suffer from and you could be uh, more prone to developing, coffee might be a great little sub or add in to your smoothie that'll help protect you against the development of those diseases. Other things you can add in. One of my favorite is a greens powder. Again, we often don't consume enough vegetables in our day. So adding in a greens powder or, or some greens, something that's gonna basically give you the benefit of consuming all those vegetables and often in a more concentrated source, and especially for people that don't typically have them in their diet. Um, now with that, one of my favorites as well for removing heavy metals is something called chlorella. Chlorella is actually kind of a sea vegetable, it's an algae, and it's very, very good at pulling out things like mercury and lead from the environment and from your body. And that's why I'm a, such a big fan of adding chlorella into your smoothie, because just through our daily exposure in the environment, we do get a little bit of mercury and a little bit of lead, 
And those things can build up in our bodies over time and that can actually lead to the development of disease. In fact, lead is heavily, heavily associated with the development of cardiovascular disease. And so again, if you're prone to that and you may have had exposure to, you know, living in an old house that once had lead paint, um, whether you've had lead pipes that run to your house. In fact, I read a study not too long ago about approximately 10% of the municipal water in the city of Toronto still having toxic levels of lead in it because of lead pipes that still exist in the city. And again, lead was used many years ago very commonly and it still persists in our environment. So just taking action against the accumulation in your system uh, is a very simple thing that you can do on a daily basis to help reduce your risk of toxicity. Um, so that's the benefits of adding in chlorella uh, into your smoothie. And again, not always everybody's favorite flavor, so it's nice that you can bury it under all those other lovely flavors you put into your smoothie. Now, a lot of times people who are using smoothies do so because they're quick and easy and they lead a very busy, stressful life. Something you can add in to improve your body's stress response is a lovely herb called maca. It's basically sometimes known as the Peruvian potato. It's this phenomenal uh, herb for your adrenal glands. It's what we call an adaptogen and it improves your body's resistance to stress. So you can add in maca liquids or powders right into your smoothie and it's a really great way to help your body handle stress. Now, if you tend to be athletic or you have a lot of inflammation in your system, Another thing you can add in is turmeric powder. Again, turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory. Warning, it'll probably end up staining your uh, blender a little bit yellow, but that's okay because the benefits it provides are worth it. It's a very, very potent anti-inflammatory and it's associated with improved liver health, improved cardiovascular health, improved joint health. Uh, you know, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal herb. It's got a lot of benefits to humans. Um, one of the things I'd recommend looking for, try when you can to get a fermented turmeric. The reason behind that is the fermentation improves the bioavailability of it. Um, so that's just taking your turmeric that next step above is trying to go fermented with it when you can. And then the last thing we're going to throw into our smoothies, um, probably one of the most important nutrients, and it's mainly because we don't get enough of it in our typical diets, and that's fish oil. Um, the omega-3 fatty acids are incredibly important. Uh, they make up the majority of our eyes. They're, you know, this one fat called DHA is actually 22% of our brain. It's an incredibly important uh, nutrient. It's associated with lower risks of arthritis, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, uh, other neurological developmental diseases. The real key with omega-3s is you're correcting a nutrient deficiency. Most people don't consume enough and therefore have a low grade deficiency, but any level of nutrient deficiency automatically creates a disease state. Whether it comes on in six weeks, six months, or six years, the disease is going to follow. So by correcting that deficiency, you stay out of harm's way. So just to recap, things that you can add to your smoothie, um, you know, things that you can do to really supercharge it, look at adding raw cacao or cocoa powder to it, uh, look at adding coffee. You can also add a green supplement, chlorella, maca, turmeric, and fish oil. Um, add all of them if you like, or pick and choose and select them based on what you feel your needs are. So I hope this video helps you make a better smoothie and live a healthier life. Share this video with anyone you think might be interested in it. You can subscribe to our channel. Any questions or comments can be posted below. And last but not least, remember, knowledge is health.